Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Stack into Bloodnet. So, Ransom Stark, newly formed Ransom Stark, in fact, was um, yeah was able to hit the streets. Use the subways. I think he is using the New York subways. I think that really didn't change. I'm sure the subway is one of the you know, quite essential experience of visiting New York or living in the Big Apple. Maybe the cars will be more faster, more numerous, but yeah, it's never going to change. It's an important aspect of transportation in this big city. Um, anyways, yeah, um, Ransom Stark was able to visit his old acquaintance of his called Pen Smiley Martinez. And uh, Smiley kind of fits his name because he was rather friendly, um, offering uh, Ransom all the help they can get. Uh, especially going into the matrix. A matrix is interchanged with internet. Yeah, I wonder whether the movie Matrix is based on at least some part of the you know cyberpunk thing that was going on in the early 90s. Uh, definitely takes after some of the neuromancers, um, I guess, descriptions of what cyberspace is like. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, back to the game. Uh, after visiting Houston Matrix Robbers and he was able to glean a lot of very juicy bits of information especially on uh, Ben Helsing that he's part of the Transtechnicals the conglomerate information technology company with its headquarters just outside of Manhattan in Brooklyn I believe and also about a guy called Tim Goldfarb. Now, Ransom was interested in Tim even before he was bitten, but now uh, with the information at his uh, fingertip or uh, stored in his trusty computer, uh, he'd be able to track him down and see um, why he was so interested in Mr. Goldfarb. But he's Mr. Goldfarb's not in a good way because he was involved in some kind of botched operation uh, with the morph code and kind of went cuckoo in the head so he's running with another gang called uh, Autonomy Dogs and I made a bit of mistake in assuming that the gang changed its name to uh, Wild Child but it's actually in fact Tim assigning himself the call sign called uh, Wild Child so he's now Wild Child part of the gang called uh, Autonomy Dogs interesting name and as you can see um, yeah, the urge to suck blood has increased a bit. Um, so you gotta watch out. Yeah, I mean, Ransom definitely traveled a long ways from where he was. And I think he's in uh, East 79th Street. So he had to yeah, travel a really long way to visit his old gang now, Flux Riders. And I guess these are part of his old crew. So let's check whether the sound is on. Yeah, let's turn the sound on and try to talk to one of these guys. This guy who looks like a, kind of a streaker or a exhibitionist. Look sharp, riders. You're glomming on Ransom Stark, former rider on his old turf. I see the question in your faces. What's a Ransom Stark? Hung with my brother, the Shade. Man knew his machines in those days. Shade said you were lightning in a tight spot. Still have some spark in me, I hope. I know what you do got, and that's an over-the-edge two on your face. Hope that's not permanent. It'll come off. I just wear it to impress women, Hondo. Look, I came here for a reason. When I was a rider, we helped our own and helped out former members. Are you new breed still loyal? Still stands? What do you need? I know some of you spread your wings in the net. I'm into something heavy, and I need to know what the buzz is these days about sea space. Yeah, some of us skate the ice, but not lately. Too many cheap shots and tripwires. Piercy Cat, she flatlined two weeks ago on a shimmy into a Vapor Mart cluster. Should have been a no-lob job for Piercy, but she's leaking spit right now. Two weeks ago, Reba and I patched deck to the Melville stack to add a tangent to the Queequeg substack and we're almost freight trained by an angular hypermorph. Too small to be any type of cluster I've ever seen, but it was too complex to have been mind-linked. Belong to the company? Who else? Except the company's got the shingles bueno y bueno. Cages are prolific like rats. 
ICE systems are taking heavy payment, and some have multi-redundancies. You asking my advice? I keep my brain in this plane. There's some mounds of uh, tech lingo that they're spewing there. I don't know what they're actually talking about, really. Um, I'm sure that Ransom understands all of that, but for me, I just could only, you know, get some part of it. I think the gist of what he was talking about was um, that cyberspace is now crawling with trans technicals and they're just clamping down on the, the hackers. I guess a bit of a I don't know, hint or foreshadowing in the questionnaire, where one question asked what you're going to do when the trans technicals come for you in the cyberspace. Also called C space, is Hondo here, the leader of the Flux Riders, I guess, right now. I refer to cyberspace, yeah, C space, matrix, whatever, and um, and one of his associates um, got trapped in one of those uh, security nets and flatlined. And flatlining is, I think, one of the terms also in Neuromancer where one kind of gets cut um, while in the cyberspace, so your body and mind becomes separate and forever lost in a way. So you become your body basically in the real world become a vegetative state while the consciousness kind of becomes melted into in the rest of the information um, depository or dump or something never to be found again so it's a really scary scary thing all right so we talked to hondo um doesn't really seem to be that much of a help other than saying that ransom really shouldn't uh, put his nose where he doesn't really belong and um, we get harmed. That's like one of his associates. Right, let's talk to this woman. Stark, you told me at the club that you'd be seeing me soon, but I thought you were lying. Yikes, you do look different. Wearing a facial now or were you then? Don't answer, none of my business. You here scoping for sea space whispers? I'm out of touch with the underground. I'd appreciate an update. Name it and it's coming up on the boards and in the wells. Lots of rumors tapped out, a few have rhythmed. Some say the Star Chamber is debating a reboot of the entire New York network. Shut it down and restart with a whole new set of Plurads, Miltons, and Icebreakers to flush a super virus. Others are texting about resident bugs in the core architecture, bugs planted by some of the original programmers to bring the system down if it got out of hand. I doubt that one. If it were true, what took them so long? Of course, there are more incubus rumors. The total paranoids claim the Matrix is going sentient, that it's spawning a consciousness deep within its AI routines. This happens every few years. The underground gets itself wired up tight and waits for the big thing, and then nothing happens, and everyone goes back to their breathers and desktops. Rumors are just vapor. You need something solid, try the Black Agates, a nasty rage gang that sometimes hires out its muscle. Okay, so a lot of different rumors and one particularly interesting name, Black Agate. I can check, I think, right here uh, with the sound of uh, what she was actually talking about. But okay, so some more tips on where I should be going, some more leads. And I don't think I'd be able to travel there. Um, it's blocked by this um, gaseous manhole. Um, can I go there? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's talk to this guy with the really strapping green shirt and vest. Aren't you Flavo Bob's younger brother? You're a dead ringer for him. So, what's it to you? Flavo and I used to hang as riders. That jack could rig. When we were kids, we scrounged the Blasron casing from a scrap heap and begged and stole enough chips to patch together a motherboard. Spent a lot of hours hacking on that thing. What's Flavo do these days? Sold out. Worm analyzes data for trans technicals. Listen, you're a former rider. You look like you're still street. I can do something for you. I got Nazrael. You need it? I trade it for a 16 TB memory chip. I do the dragon so the Azrael don't turn me, but I always need the storage. Interested? Hmm, let's try to back out of this. Hey Stark, why are you scragging with another rider? I'm trying to help you and you trying to take me. You don't have a 16 TB chip. So this guy I think offers a new soul box for Ransom Stark. 
I think it was a bit better one, or maybe a lot better one than the Tin Man Soul Box that runs some sporting right now. It was traded for a 16 terabyte uh, memory chip, which really, I mean, I guess it's going to come by, but not right now. Hmm. I wonder whether him asking you for 16 terabyte chip might indicate that might have, I should have arrived here a bit later. Well, the last remaining guy. Not much a scrounger like me can do to help you. Got an extra data spider. Yours if you can use it. It's not much, I know. But what do I look like? A weapons merchant? You want some heavy stuff? See the Sid and Nancy's. The buzz is they just made a big score. Hmm, okay, let me just um let me just think about this for a second. And um uh, I think he's kind of telling about uh, some of the, I don't know, weapons merchants that are available throughout the city. Um, telling about some of the products that are available. I'm not so sure. I didn't really catch it. need to check it out in the dialogue screen. But right now, I just can't do this. Uh, okay, so uh, the data spider is placed in the inventory. Keep your cloaks up in the matrix, Stark. Wow, uh, okay. I didn't really really get what he was talking about, so I need to probably check what he was talking about. Sorry. Um, what was this guy? The Hondo is the, the leader of the guy in the code. There's Bob, perhaps? No. Yeah, he's the um, brother of Labor Bob, and Random Stark is trying to yeah, ask about what had happened to his brother. Um... Yeah, so he has that soul box, okay. And... Let's see... Um, Bob Dina? Bit Dina? No, this is... Okay, yeah, sure. Bit Dina, Bit Dina. Oh, Data Spider. Um, okay. See the Nancy's. That is the weapons merchant that he can visit in order to score some heavy weaponry uh, like laser rifles and stuff like that but data spider cool all right uh, let's just check what else that he can actually look for here um it was a long time ago so yeah he doesn't really know a lot of these people search yeah not enough to okay hidden object uh, examine, no. State of the net, Stark. Okay. Let's check what he has, what he has received from bid. So checking out some of the stats, the only thing that is different now is that he has a higher bloodlust level, 60%. Okay, so data spider, I wonder what that is. Okay, let's examine this. A virus program can be inserted into this tiny plastic device and delivered to an electronic system, destroying its functions. Okay, I don't know whether that is that has to do with uh, cyberspace or real life. Tiny plastic device. Maybe, yeah, I think I need to do something with this. Combining items and I wonder if that is one of the quest items. Can't be too sure. Yeah, one terabyte memory chip. Wonder I can sell it. Coveralls and vest. I guess coveralls provide a bit more protection. Neural implant plans. Can't go in any of these. Um, wish I knew what these slots are for. Maybe this is for his head. Um, maybe I can put some of the ammo here. No. Yeah, this must be boots. Um, this must be another weapon slot that maybe he can put a weapon. No, can't do that. Well, we'll just figure out later. All right, so we talked to the block spiders. Doesn't seem to have a lot of, um... Got that chip this time? I'm still willing to trade. Not yet. You demand, Stark. 
I guess he's um, going to wait for me to get the 16 terabyte chip. Okay, I guess that's it for the Flux Riders. Yeah, let's try to see the contact here and see what else I can do. Deirdre Tackett, yeah. Lash Gibbons, note to myself that my fine friend is back on his feet after recovering from the injuries. Alright, so he's going to be in the Abyss, which is probably the next location that we have to visit. Let's see. Alright, let's go to the Abyss then. Where could that be? Central Park? No. Um, I guess not. Yeah, this is where I was. Okay, if you don't know anyone, you cannot visit there. Maybe you'll get mobbed. Uh, I think it was in Times Square. Alright, yeah, so it's the Abyss it is. I found some different sounds, some banging sound here. Right. Save this. All right. So game saved. This is the Abyss. See the description. Strong drink. Dumping music. Enjoy this. And a fearless, dangerous clientele. Everything you want in a bar. You scan the room seeing faces familiar and not. No one looks directly at you, but they don't quite look away either. You're certain everyone is armed, and you hope to see a friendly face. I see this is a friendly face. Why do you insist on ogling me like that? I feel like a piece of meat in a supermarket case. Relax, I ain't looking. I'm here to hire mercs. Need the best on my side. You're looking at him. Fighting. Decking. You name it. I'm the finest. Really? Plus, I would add an element of style to your little endeavor. Looks like you could use it. Yeah, well style ain't gonna save me when I'm on the wrong end of a white noise blaster. What makes you so damn sure of yourself? My skills speak for themselves. I'm even better than I look. That's why my fee for a job is $25,000. Man, it's expensive. You always get what you pay for. You want the best? If not, don't waste my time. Uh, I ask for payment up front. I don't have time to run a credit check on you. Twenty-five grand, Stark. This ought to be good. I have a feeling I'm going to have to hold this group together. You could use my leadership. First of all, let's get out of the bar. I don't like the idea of being seen with the likes of you. I have reputation in this city, you know. Um... Okay, uh, I didn't mean to actually uh, get him in my party. Ah, uh, well, okay, let's check what his skills are. I hope he's good enough. Alright, 99 strength, my goodness. I mean, these guys have a huge skill set here. Yeah, mostly combat. His name is Kyle Avery. Intelligence, fast talk. Okay, I wonder if he can use fast talk to speak for Stark in some, um, you know, in some sticky situations. Alright, some courage. Um, Alright, so I guess he's uh, more or less a fighter. Let's check his inventory. Uh, mission pistol. Let me just... Um, sorry about that. Yeah, I really didn't mean to hire him. I don't, I don't know exactly. I should probably say no, but I pressed escape in order to get out of the screen. I thought that they would also qualify as a no, but oh, apparently it's yes. Yeah, first time in my uh, gaming experience. Um, anywho, yeah, he's pretty good in uh, firearms, so let's just give him. Oh, I guess he already has the mission pistol, so let's just give him this. And I'm sure that she's going to use some of the yeah, ammo available, and let's also give him the yeah this Kevlar vest. Okay, well now that's out of the way. Let's talk to this guy. Looking for work, Cisco? Not me, amigo mio. I'm retired. I still drink here, but that's it. I've got a job you'd be perfect for. Kind of rigging I used to do is for young guys. I'm washed up. 
That's bull. I know about you. Know what you can do. When I first went freelance, the scroungers buzzed you and Hakeem all the time. You two are legends, man. You don't just quit on that. Huh. Legends who don't know when to quit end up being dead legends. Hakeem is a businessman now. When he's ready for me, I'll be his partner. We don't need the danger. This could be a big score. Make you for life. Involves hitting the company. You were the best at that and I bet you're still pretty damn good. I'll be decking pretty deep into the network. No telling what company tech you could get your hands on. Uh, I'm not a mark, kid. Don't try and sell me. Talk to Max Sudi. He always made the decisions for both of us. If he goes for your deal, I mean as well. These days, he hangs with a group called the Houston Matrix Rovers. Yeah, we've been there and talked to Hakim and... Maybe if I talk to Hakim again, he might sing a different tune now that we talk to Cisco. Um, apparently Ransom knows him and wants to bring him in to his party. And also, uh, Ransom knows that he has to hit Transtechnicals and maybe, uh, if not, at least go through them. He knows his priorities and what he might have to do in order to save himself because now he knows Ape and Helsing is part of the company and yeah he might have to hit the company pretty hard in order to get uh, to the bottom of it so he wants to um, yeah find his old associate and use the money that he has in order to bring anybody who can help the next up is this portly guy i might be looking to hire some hard guys you look like you got the muscle but do you got the references big guy until recently, I've traveled the Midwest, doing God's work in the Grain Belt. You just say God's work? The angel of the Lord comes to me at night, in visions and voices, and tells me of good and evil. Do you see my hands? These hands strangle God's enemies. These hands crush the throat of the Socialist Party candidate for mayor of Chicago. These hands broke the neck of the Bolshevik, leading the strike against the St. Louis corn syrup cartel. These hands hurled the president of an East Coast bank from the roof of the Sears Tower to his death below. Those would be credentials, all right. Eloquently stated, too. What about vampires and trans-technicals? Would those be God's enemies too? The voices are unclear about the companies. God's authority over man is reflected in the company's great power and wealth. There may be a link between the corporate and the divine. It is confusing. But about the night walkers, there can be no doubt. They are spawn of Satan that must be crushed by these hands of God. For $4,500, I can join your struggle. Will you have me? Wow, this guy is some religious zealot. Uh, I wonder what his innocence and the faith scores would be like. Probably high faith, but I don't know about innocence. And um, yeah, this guy seems a bit unstable. Mm. Just spent 25,000 too, so that's the most important thing that might uh, prevent me from making him my party member because I've spent a large amount of money. Do not stay my hands if you fight the Lord's enemies. I am a murderous weapon for righteousness. Yeah, okay. Good for you. My goodness, he is a um, rather unstable guy. I don't know whether he's actually going to be <laughs> helpful uh, for us. I mean, he's cheap, like 4,500, but. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, well, I mean, look at this snappy dude. Let's see, what's his deal? Hey there, Nimrod. How are they going? The music here is grating and arrhythmic. The smoke pollutes my optic sensors. Yeah, I'm having fun too. Um, listen. You working on anything? 
I'm not currently contracted to anyone. If I lacked discipline, I would be at what might be called loose ends. Existential crisis, Nimrod? I didn't think you were the type. You've worked for the Purity Council, right? The Genetic Purity Council has at times contracted me to kill certain individuals who do not meet specified demographic profiles, yes. That's what I thought. The Rage Gangs and Cyberpunks are terrified of you. What would it cost me to, uh, contract with you? For the transfer of $14,000, my services can be contracted. Are you making me an offer to join you? Uh... Well, I don't know. Nimra seems to be a trained killer, alright, but... Um, I don't know whether he's going to be effective against vampires. I know he has been a terror against cyberpunks, but... I mean, most of my party members might be cyberpunks, so I don't know whether that's going to be uh, all right in terms of party chemistry so right now i say no i understand i am quite expensive my services aren't for everyone pretty interesting guy he seems like he's an android or heavily modified uh, human being which is kind of ironic because he was uh, contracted to perhaps destroy or target his Maybe his own for the genetic purity council. Uh, from the sounds of it, the council seems like one of those organizations that are trying to define what human is, what truly makes us human. Yeah, kind of feeling I get from the name genetic purity council. Stark, how you been? Garrick and I gave up on you months ago. Thought you must have bought the permanent cyber vacation. Know what I mean? Hey, you don't look so good. I haven't been myself. Listen, I can trust you guys, right? Always good. You laid your own neck on the line for Garrick and me many a time when we nearly crossed the line with Trans Tech. Where is your old man anyway? He's working for an uptown gang that wants some Trans Tech dirt. Call themselves Electric Anarchy. Hmm. Routine stuff. It's been a while since we had any jobs with some meat on them. I'm booked to trail some guy in the net who's accused of being one of these vampires we're hearing about on the news. Anything to stay working these days. What is it, Stark? Your pale skin went almost blue there for a second. Let's put it this way. If you were bounty hunting the undead, you'd be able to take that Cuban cruise with the money I'd bring in for you. They got you, Stark? Of all people? I can't believe it! Nobody could ever touch you when it came to combat. I mean, I hope you're okay, but how'd you let your guard down long enough to get taken like that? Hey, I'm human, okay? At least half, anyway. Now what I need is to keep my half-breed hide alive. And there's more. Incubus is real, Rima, and these guys want it. If we don't get it before they do, we're all goners. I'm gonna need the best people on my side. Sign me up. That is what you're getting at, isn't it? Well, it seems... yeah, I mean, this, um... Uh, supposedly, I think she's hacker. Ransom knows her and they have a, quite a history uh, because I think she and her partner worked with Ransom at one point and Ransom was able to help them uh, when they were uh, kind of in trouble with trans technicals and now uh, um, I think she's offering to join for free uh, to help Stark. Pretty interesting and I think her aims are quite in line with uh, Ransom's to go and dig some dirt against the trans technicals and bounty hunting for vampires so yeah I think she would be a pretty good member uh, to have around. Um, there's also a gang called Electric Anarchy that we can gain entrance to with her in our party so perhaps I should agree. You just got yourself one of the best deckers in Manhattan. All right, great. But I don't want to pull this kind of job without Garrick. Let's swing uptown to 175th Street and pick him okay, up. Okay, great, yeah. He can skip the money he'd be making with that job. This is more important. Garrick's sure gonna be glad to see you, Stark. All right, so, um, sure. Sure, very nice. <sighs> Good. We needed a solid decker in this group. Rima's got a good name in this town as a Matrix Surfer. 
Okay, so apparently Kyle approves. Yeah, I guess um, she's going to be a very valuable member of our party. And maybe I should save, just in case. She's supposedly a pretty skilled hacker. So let's check her skills out. Our third member. And yeah, she's definitely very good. Wow, 76, 94, 96. Man, compared to Ransom Stark, she's probably just going to uh, just be miles and miles better um, than Stark ever could even hope for. She's not half bad in combat too. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean... Rima Fizz. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's definitely a very, very skilled uh, individual. A lot of courage. Um, High tech, biotech, you name it, she has all, everything all over the place. Yeah, pretty decent scores uh, in the mental department too, which uh, I think Ransom kind of lacks. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> can't really anything. And blood loss has increased to 20%. My goodness, so it does increase, um, I think, as you spend more time and trying to recruit more people, uh, I guess. You're spending some time to talk to people is considered as time um, passing. The blood loss is definitely gaining. Yeah, what do you want? Can't you see I'm right in the middle of something here? Man, you look worse than I feel. Yeah, well, I got bigger things on my mind than looking pretty. Obviously. The only time a man gets to look like that is when he's being hunted. Looks like you could use a hand. I may like a drink now and then to calm my nerves, but I'm a damn good shot. Got the senses of a hawk ever since I got my ocular and aural implants. You hiring? I'm cheap. Only 15 grand. 15 grand, huh? He seems to be a pretty nice guy. Um, let me just think about it. Uh, how much money do I have? I need to probably see it first, so let's just say no. Then leave me to my work. I've barely made a dent in this here bottle of whiskey. Alright, I just need to check how much money I have though. Uh, let's see. I have 78,500. Alright. Uh, well, let's see what else I can see. Uh, in the second part of the map. More people to talk here. Um, let's see, who's this guy? Oh, ha, ha, Ransom Stark! What can I do for you, friend? You're surprised that I know you? I shouldn't know you. I almost killed you a few years ago. Killed me? What did I do to you? Yes. <laughs> you were working for pandemic broadcasting, breaking up a ring of media pirates called the 24th Frequency. The frequency hired me to off you. I killed you for days, watching your moves, learning your routine. <laughs> you never saw me. At the time, you would stop into the tattoo parlor on East 81st every evening. I think you were sweet on the redhead with the facial tints, eh? <laughs> when you left the shop, you walked several blocks through an alley to 83rd Street. I had picked the rooftop where I would post myself, was ready to do you in. When the frequency failed to make their payment to me on time, a deal off! Job cancelled! <laughs> but a close call for you, my friend. You seemed like a decent fellow. I'm glad I didn't have to kill you. Here, let me buy you an Uzo. Nah, that's alright. I hate the stuff. I'm here to talk business. You really tailed me for several days? Damn. Big bugger like you, you must really move. Business? You need a mercenary? I guess I've proven me skill, eh? I'll tell you what, because I almost kill you, I'll cut my price for you. Ten thousand dollars, just enough to pay my bills. I'd work for less, but my accountant would kill me. <laughs> a joke, you see. <laughs> so, do we have a deal? Well... I just need to talk to everybody here first, and I really wouldn't really uh, want to take advantage of once again after uh, you know this guy trailed me for days and having known all the. Ah, I see you have hard feelings over my stalking you. Exactly. It was business, you see. Ah, if you aren't a pro, I don't want to work for you. 
Okay, I guess that kind of sealed the... Um, yeah, him ever joining us. I don't know whether that's the right decision for me. Maybe I was a bit too rash, but um, I just want to talk to everybody first and see um, what you can gain from everybody and what their uh, unique ticks or you know, pros and cons are and make a decision. Uh, let's talk to this person. You bothering me for good reason, boy? Just looking around, looking for the right mercs. Fighters, deckers, the best. Well, you're looking at the finest of fighters right here. If you can afford me, I love the fight. Live for it. Always looking for any excuse to cause a little pain. You seem pretty sure of yourself. But arrogance never saved my skin in the heat of battle. I need skill. Well, if you have doubts, why don't you find out for yourself? Maybe you'll live long oh. enough to make a decision. Uh, okay. Finding the bar, huh? Uh, it's a trio battle, hopefully just telling me uh, what to do. Uh, left click on the location to place the character, huh? Okay, well, here's Ransom. And I can also uh, place some of the, yeah, the members I have just recruited now um, to fight for me uh, as well, but... I don't know... Kyle is a good fighter, so... Let's just place him a bit here. Uh, and Rima, yeah, Rima, of course. Uh, I don't know whether I actually placed the weapon on her hand or... Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, I didn't check her inventory yet. I'm not so sure if she's going to fight barehanded or not, whether I can access the inventory to uh, get her a weapon. I'm not so sure, but um, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I hope this is a tutorial battle because I just really don't know um, exactly what to expect. Oh my goodness, 91 HP. That's not good. And she has a party member too. Um, Alright, yeah, this is a bit weird. And yeah, I click on party member. Uh, view status once again, sorry about that. Uh, doesn't really tell you what. Yeah, these are five eagles defending laser pistol. Alright. Let's check the part. The status of this. Miranda Armada, 93 defending laser rifle. Oh no. Uh, doesn't really look good for me here. I can retreat too. Um, I can turn off the music. Okay, that's that. Yeah, let's just try to concentrate here. Uh, ish orders. Ransom. Kyle, okay. Um, fine, you can bite her too. Oh, you can bite? Kyle can... Is Kyle a vampire? Oh no. Acquire target? Well, let's target... These are five eagles. And ah, eh, body. Yeah, okay, good. So you can see the asterisk on the most recent order that you gave this character. All right, so that's self-explanatory. And this each order is, let's just check once again. Yeah, acquire target, that's it. Insert will, I don't know what that means, but just each order for Rima, Rima Fizz. Free combat fist. Oh, that's not going to. It's not going to do. Let's choose weapon. Oh my goodness, no weapon fist. That's not good. You gotta defend your position, uh, Rima. I wish I could give her a weapon, but I don't think this game actually allows you to handle a weapon to a different person, even within the party. Okay, so let's each order for Mr. Stark, which is the only unique sprite. Okay, acquire target, and let's left click on Lisa Five Eagles, and let's go for the body. All right, let's let's do it. Let's um, okay, recent combat perhaps. Oh no! Don't get killed. Oh come on, um, whack. Lisa Five Eagles missed Rima Fizz. That's good. 
Um, Ransom Stark hit Lisa Five Eagles with a laser pistol in the left leg for 12 points. Oh my. Uh, that's pretty good. Miranda Armada hit. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh no. She's gonna die. Um, the torso, and uh, she only has one hit point uh, on her torso. Uh, Rima's going to regret uh, that she ever joined me. Kyle Avery sustained. Oh my gosh. He cannot use this right arm anymore because uh, he whacked the machine pistol and it exploded. Come on, Rima, don't die. Um, Ransom Stark missed. Uh, okay. Um, Miranda Armada hit Rima. Rima is in really bad day now. Oh gosh. Let's retreat, I think. I think that's the best way. Rima Fizz. Retreat. Uh, okay. Shoulders. Yeah, uh, now Rima Fizz is retreating. Kyle Avery still has 47, but I think he's gonna die soon. Uh, can he use a weapon now? No, no weapon. So he doesn't have any weapons, so I think he also has to retreat. Ah, which kind of sucks. Yeah, he has to retreat. And the shoulders for ransom. Maybe he can hit. Yeah. Fire target. Yeah, he's gonna still shoot. So let's resume combat. Alright, now let's... Okay, he didn't die yet. Uh, Ransom Stark has been hit. Um, yeah, he doesn't really have a lot of hit points left. Oh my goodness. Um, five eagles for, with a laser pistol in the torso for 14 points of damage. Yeah, it's not going well for um, uh, Ransom. He's gonna die. I think he's gonna die. Yeah, he's dead. Ransom Stark is dead, folks. So you succumb to your greatest enemy, death. I wonder what this means. Maybe this is the Reaper. So this game doesn't pull no punches. That's for sure. And you don't really want to talk to uh, Lisa Five Eyes. She's going to make a mincemeat out of you. That's good to know. Alright. Oh boy. Okay. Search and finds nothing. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that Kyle was not once was able to shoot his machine pistol. All right, so don't talk to that. Uh, yeah, that desk. Uh, let's check this guy out. Stark, how have you been? Been a while since I had to roll you out of here. A lot of the old crowd ask about you from time to time. <laughs> Can't tell them what I don't know myself. You must be up to something big. You want the white on who's new? Don't I always? Well, Miranda, Armanda, and Lisa Five Eagles have really made a name for themselves. Five straight fighters. Mm -hmm. Miranda's got that fearless look in her eye that I haven't seen in this place since you first came in here years ago. Ready to take New York by storm. Lisa's an excellent shot. No doubt. They're both doing well pulling hits for whoever can afford their fee. They seem worth it. Now, this Bonton Himashaka guy is a dopehead. It's said that he's a pretty good fighter and a good deck. But I wouldn't trust him. One of these days, somebody's gonna find him dead from choking on his own vomit. But until that day, he does some good work. 
Plus, the guy's a good medicine man if you want to mix your own stuff. Now, Slash McLachlan is nothing but a drunken bum. But you're not looking for a husband, right? You're looking for Mercs. Then he's your guy. I don't know how he does it. But I think the juice actually steadies him. He's a good marksman. Pulled a few Deccan jobs for big bucks, too. Go figure. It sure was good seeing you again, Stark. Don't be a stranger. And Stark, do me a favor, huh? Take your usual fights outside this time. I don't want any trouble in here. Yeah, he doesn't want to scrape Stark off the floor of this place after being blasted by a laser rifle. Yeah, so this seems to be a bartender with uh, some heavy New York accent. Yeah. Immersion. And uh, he vouches heavily for Lisa Five Eagles, and I can personally um, do that too after having fought her and having <laughs> unceremoniously dumped into the title screen or save load screen. Uh, I just want to check out some dialogue here. Let's see. What's that guy? Uh, Nimrod is the android. Cisco um, is uh, actually, at least, you know, he's beside Hakim, um, supposedly his close relation. Uh, Max Bax. Who's Max Bax? Oh, alright, this guy. Yeah, this uh, Zealot guy with some crazed, confused disposition, I say. Alright. Hondo, yeah, talk to... Man, look at all this person. This roster of people that we already met. Yeah, Luke Monterey, Kyle Avery we talked to, part of member. Rima Fizz as well. Okay, this guy, sure. Uh, Miranda Armada, Lisa Five Eagles, yes. First rate fighter. And Bonton Timishaka, Dopehead. He's a good decker and a doctor. He mixes some potent medicine um, for us. And there's a medicine skill. Now, Slash McLachlan. Bum. Good marksman. Yeah. Alright, so all good and the bad of the characters that we can recruit still. Okay, so this is Lash Gibbons. And I didn't turn on the. Oh gosh, I didn't. I forgot to turn on the voice. I guess I had to voice him or something. Uh, Strike my matrix. What the hell happened to you? You look half dead. That about sums it up, Lash. You can't believe what's coming down. So what got ya? Somebody's injected with a designer virus? Nano machine? You're like, you lost half your blood, boy. Wish it was a bioweapon. Those can be countered easy enough. This will sound crazy, Lash. Those Lionfire rumors you've been hearing? They are true. I've seen them. I've become one of them, or nearly one of them. A vampire named Ben Helsing. Yeah, like the guy in the Dracula Legends. He lured me to his penthouse on a bogus job. He was looking for a tacket. And when he got what he wanted out of me, he... He did this to me. I couldn't stop him. He was too damn strong. He forced himself on me. My influence is the only thing keeping me even partially human. And it won't last. Forever. I don't reverse this soon. It'll be too late. I'll be a vampire forever. You all serious, aren't you? You're a vampire? My god, look at ya. What the hell do we do about this, Ransom? I don't know. I've gotta find a cure before it's too late. And I have to save Deirdre. Ben Helsing's grabbed her. He's after Incubus. Turns out, that's for real, too. I owe that woman my life, Lash. I have to rescue her and try to put an end to Ben Helsing's evil. Brother, you're in serious shit up your earlobes. Maybe I better come with you on this one. Yeah, sure, Lash. Let's get down to it, brother. Okay, so Lash Gibbons is the old friend, and I think he was the contact that the computer had. And yeah, I mean, Lash was the person that I came for, really. 
finally get to meet him. Uh, didn't get to hear his voice. Maybe I should just turn the sound on before I do anything more. And yeah, how does he sound like? Crack my matrix. What the hell happened to you? You look half dead. Okay. That about sums it up, Lash. You can't believe what's coming down. So what's got you? Somebody inject you with a designer virus? Nano machine? Wish it was a bi- Yalas. I don't know. Brother, you are- Alright, so we uh, heard his voice and he kind of sounds like a... Uh, I don't know if I should say this, but kind of a hillbilly guy. Alright, let's check out this character. Are you available for action? Lurking or something else? You look like you shove and push. I can show you the floor from all kinds of angles. Kinky as that sounds, I pass. Then you're looking for a merc? I'm available now, handsome. Dead shot with most energy weapons and hell on wheels when it gets close and nasty. I've split my time between working for the suits and all kinds of wired revolutionaries. Whoever pays most. You need me? I'm yours for thirteen thousand dollars. Mmm, thirteen thousand. Let Change me just. Change your mind, handsome. I'll be here. Okay, great. Maybe. Yeah. We can talk to her later. Talent like mine isn't unemployed for long. Well, she's pretty confident. Yeah. Um, I'd like to know her name though. Let's just check out her name. Uh, maybe it's, yeah. She's probably Zara Aviatrix. Aviatrix. Okay, good. Check out this guy who's you know in the corner by his own uh, self. I wonder what his problem is. Dwayne send you with the kusari? What? The medicine. The drugs, man. The drugs. Oh, the drug you, you got. You got the wrong guy. I work for nobody. Suminasen, your highness. Excuse me. I suppose people work for you. That it? What's your line of work? Looks like Red Lithis is your show by. I've seen that PC look before in your business. I'm no dealer, but it looks like one could make a fortune off you. I like a little red lifter on occasion. In fact, if you're looking for someone to work with you, my schedule just might open up if you were to send some lifters and five grand my way. My five grand. That's mm. for one job and one job only. I don't work with a guy more than once. Too dangerous. Interested, Tomodachi? Uh, not yet. Think to yourself. Might have done you some good to be seen with me. I know people in this town. Suit yourself. Might have done you some good to be seen with me. I know what? people in this town. Did he just repeat what he said to me? I don't know. Um, uh, getting strange. The rear of the abyss is quieter, more private. A place where deals are made, contracts agreed upon, and that's settled. A place where endless adventures and much pain are planned. Okay. Well, there's only one person to talk to now. Uh, we already talked to this guy. I don't know whether the computer or the game recognizes as such because I think right after I talked to this guy, uh, I have to fight these two ladies here and uh, got, uh, you know, yeah, uh, my first death, in fact. Probably more to come. So I don't know whether I should be talking to this guy. Just get the dialogue um, into the dialogue we play. I don't know what his name is, so maybe I should do it. Yeah, maybe I should save after every conversation. Oh, ho, ho. Ransom Stark! Oh, ho, what can ho, I do ho. for you, friend? You're surprised that I know you? I yeah, killed me. Yes. Nah, that's all right. I hate business. No. Ah. I... Ah. Yeah. Okay. Look to this character. Haven't seen you in months, Howler. You look horrible. You're sick, aren't you? Yeah, like you give a damn, Monique. Don't mess with me. I'm not in the mood. Shell the self-pity, Mr. Lonely Heart. It isn't selling. I'm genuinely concerned. You're as pale as a corpse. I don't want to involve you in this mess, Monique. Howler, you better. I'm still your friend. Some heavy stuff involves trans tech, cyberspace, and vampires. Which is what I've become. That's why I look this way. 
Deirdre Tackett's been kidnapped because of me. Everything's gone wrong, and if I don't get control of things soon, I'm doomed. I'll be like this forever. Until somebody drives a stake into my heart, that is. Don't be too proud to ask for help, Ransom. Want me to tag along? I don't know who she is, but apparently uh, Ransom definitely knows her and they have a history together. Yeah, I mean, you know, it might be pretty interesting. Uh, and she's suffering us to join the party for free, so I guess that's a plus. Uh, Alright, so what was her name? Monique? So yeah, sure, Monique. I'm with you, board. Ransom. Alright, so we've gotten some people, yeah, in our party. Glad you decided to help, Monique. I miss the old days when the three of us were running together. Oh, okay, cool. So they are all um, part of the same gang or same group. Alright, so we have five party members now. I think that's... Uh, I think there's only one more space. Hmm, I wonder who I'd be picking to round out the party here. Or maybe I should wait until a better offer comes along. But... Right now, I want to check the skills here. Um, yeah, I already checked Rima. She was uh, pretty good. Unfortunately, she didn't have any weapons, so I couldn't really make use of her skills um, in the fight. That ended pretty disastrously. And here is Lash Gibbons. Um, pretty good physical skills. Very good combat skills across the board. Wow, Ransom really couldn't uh, make it in this. I think Ransom is going to be the weakest link here in the party. He should just stay in the back and, you know, do nothing. Gets in the way. Yeah, a lot of courage. Very decent mental scores. And, uh, yeah, I guess similar um, cyber skills as Ransom. Alright. And this is Monique St. Clair. Nice hit point. Um... Yeah, I mean, she's also pretty good too. Wow, look at that. Courage and will and... Although the cyber skills kind of trails the rest of the group, but yeah, in the other department, she's definitely distinguished herself. Compared to Ransom, yeah. I don't know what is wrong with Ransom, really. I don't know what he could ever hope to become uh, in terms of being a useful party member, but maybe he's going to increase his skills. Maybe there's levels that he can uh, gain i'm not so sure um yeah compared to the guys who were just offering to join for free and this guy was just i think i made a mistake of getting this guy for twenty-five thousand. uh but i have to probably just live with the choice i made and um, not go back and do safe scum at every time so i guess i stick with this guy but he better distinguish himself i don't know what exactly he can do uh, that other party members can't. I mean, he does have a lot of strength, so maybe I should give him some blade, make him um, just punch everybody out. Rima Fizz definitely needs a weapon. Uh, I wonder what weapons Lash and Monique bring. Um, but let's check it out. Alright, okay. So Rima does have a, a weapon, but she has yet to equip one. So that's oh, okay. Yeah, this is kind of not still having a bit of trouble with the inventory. So Kyle is uh, yeah. Be careful with the machine pistol. Yeah, you don't want to whack it. Rim up face. Okay, interesting attire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe she's right-handed or something. Or left handed. I think this is his right hand, right? Yeah, this is right hand. This is her front. Yeah, no trucks allowed. She doesn't want the trucks to any part of her torso or something. I don't know <laughs> what that really means, but. Um, okay, so some grenades. The way she can actually equip. I mean, she has some weapons. I wonder why I couldn't get her the weapons um, during the battle. Maybe she had to equip it in her hand or something. Or at least one weapon in her hand so she can change it. But she does have a uh, mission. No. Yeah, she does have some. 
yeah, I see why they were cut down so easily because uh, obviously they weren't even equipped with any armor. I did retreat them, maybe I should have retreated also. Nash Gibbons, yeah, laser rifle. Ryan Stopper stun rifle. She's definitely equipped to fight. Parcels, EMP grenade, nice. And let's get the rifle going. Nope. Alright. I don't know whether the handiness actually matters. I don't think so. And yeah, that's all he has. Okay. Can I jerry rig something? No, okay. Oh! I don't know what happened, but it just organized inventory for you. Pretty cool. And Monique with the. Uh, wow! Interesting attire. Definitely unique. Stun stick, laser pistol, taser gun. Let's get the laser pistol going. Doesn't have any armor, so yeah, we need to provide them with armor before we go into any serious fight. Mission pistol. He does have an armor. Um, who is this? Kyle? Avery has armor, so he can probably give it to somebody else. Uh, jacket to throw your lash. Yeah, that's cool. Rima has vest. Okay, cool. And. Oh, no, Monique doesn't have anything, so yeah, Monique should be wearing something on her pretty attire. Yeah, okay. I guess she's not that much of a fighter. I mean, she has better skills than Ransom would ever hope to have in his wildest dreams. So, everybody has a grenade to throw. I wonder how effective it's going to be. I mean, games like XCOM, the grenades are basically 100% Panacea for you know that last bit of damage to get you through. Um, I can examine this. Horse and arms. Okay. Except for holy water. Great. Yeah, I can examine this. So, cover all fashion from Cavalier. So he did withstand some laser, but I guess it was not that effective as you've seen in the fight with uh, Lisa Five Eagles. Alright, okay, kinda confusing, uh, maybe I should save. Yep, that's Evis. Uh, maybe in a different slot, nah, let's save it here. And for the last thing I'm going to do in this episode, I'm going to check some contacts, see what I can do next. Is it is Houston Matrix over his Flux Riders. Uh, Una was the... I think Una Flight... Yeah, yeah, I, I remember Una, she talked about... What did she tell me? About a gang, electric dogs or something. And I can check the dialogue replay. Deirdre Tacted. Yes, Lash Gibbons. Monique St. Clair. Um, I may stop going there if I keep running into Monique. Ex-lovers. Oh, okay, so they are ex-lovers. Okay, so that's why um, Ransom was a bit more keen to uh, spill his heart out, kind of express his, um, reveal his true self behind that kind of smugness that he's shown others. Central Park. Something bad is happening in the Great Lawn Shack at East 86th Street. People are turning up dead with their throats torn open. There are more rumors of vampires. Could look into it, but I doubt poppers and company scrunch living in the shacks could pay enough to make it worth my while. Better be ready for action there. Okay, maybe we should go there and see what's happening. And I think Central Park is where the autonomy dogs um, reside, right? Timmy Goldfarb, where the hell is he? Oh well, that's probably where I find him, at Central Park. Doom Pilot. Uh, some of these guys had a name as cutting edge surfers in the net. Now they went soft. Rimna and Garrick Fizz. Okay, so Rima. Uh, we recruited her in Abyss. Yeah, she's definitely a good decker. Um, I hear there's a way to actually use her skills to transport Ransom into cyberspace, so he's definitely going to have a better chance of 
exploring there. I may have to look into how I'm be able to do that. Sis config. Still owe her that thousand dollars. Yeah, there's a lot of um Okay, so we already uh, know about her. Miranda Armada. I think she's the one that we fought along with Lisa. A street tech weaponly whiz kid. Yeah. Arrogant, impatient, hard to deal with, but supposedly worth the trouble. Lisa Five Eagles. Yeah. Supposedly um, out here temporarily from LA. Fresh air, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Are a few mercs giving her five stars. Definitely. Latest word on Dirty Target. Big news. Word from a few in the village is that Dirty hit the mother load. The big one. The ultimate icebreaker. The incubus. Uh, no more entries. So yeah, that's it. So not much to go on uh, for Ransom and his party. So... Finds nothing. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, we got our party. Uh, one more person to join us, perhaps uh, you guys, if um, if you like to see a person joining our party right now, or available in Abyss, yeah, leave a comment and I will get him or her into our party, although I do have some reservation about certain individuals such as that... Who's that guy? Max Bax? Yeah, that guy seems pretty dangerous, so I don't know whether I'm going to recruit him, but yeah, please leave a comment and see... Um, how I be able to round up my party or uh, which destination I should be going at because I mean there are a lot of different areas here and I don't really know exactly what is the next location the ransom should travel right now at Times Square I guess from the computer it seems that I should be heading to Central Park yeah all these places, all these locations have significance. Um, where was Central Park? This? Yeah, here, Central Park. It's a pretty rundown place, so I don't know. Maybe I should kind of hold off visiting there. Maybe I should just ask around, go back to Houston, Matrix Rovers, and talk with Hakeem now that I've talked to his uh, pal Cisco. Well, I have to decide that for the next time. Hope that you enjoyed this episode. A lot of talking, a lot of information still. I guess there was a bit of battle involved, although I didn't really do well there, but I hope that I can improve with the party members now I have. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode once again, and until next time, please stay tuned. <laughs>